Hello and welcome to Portland, Oregon here for some road course racing at Portland with no chicane and join me in the booth, obviously, Stephen Paul the third. Hello guys, I'm back from like my 30th race goodbye in the season. Well, that's very impressive considering we're only at race 23. <laughs> I'm a magical person. Um, so starting on the poll here today, we have the Japanese import Hiroshi Kazuyoshi and starting alongside will be Jessica Shelton in the 17. That's a nice 17. Yeah, thank you. Bradley Bishop Jr. and Kenny Bale make up row number two. Hopefully Kenny can start or uh, take the green flag today. Eric <laughs> and Rage and Gabe Williams make up row three. And then it's Katie Elizabeth and Chris Luby are the other BKR truck row four. With Chris Washer and Kyle Matthews making up the fifth row. Kyle Matthews still coming into this race 42nd in the points. Hopefully he can make some progress on that as the command has been given now. Uh, as we show the rest of the starting grid a little bit here real quickly, Stephen, I'll hand over to you. Uh, I, I, last we're seeing practice is going to be a death race. It's basically whoever survives, survives, basically. That's pretty much what's going to happen in this race. Um, my pick to win, oh, I will Seth Cole got going finally. My pick to win, I'm going to pick, since this is going to be a bunch of racks, I'm going to pick Amanda Shelley from the last row to win this race. Oh, that's a very interesting pick considering Mary Shelley... Uh, was the person to win this race one season ago in the truck series when they were the only series to come here. So maybe you've got have... some secrets from her uh, sister as the green flag already out. I will and pick if... Bradley Bishop Jr. in the 99 to win. And if we have pit stops, uh, I'm just going to say I'm going to laugh my ass off. And we'll, we'll find out why. Uh, yeah. So here we go into turn number one. All 42 trucks took the green flag and Kazuyoshi gets the run. Good run for Kazuyoshi. Oh, not really a good run off that corner. Well, uh, at least doesn't have Bishop there to the driver's right yet, but now they turn to the left. Turn to the left. To the left, to the left. To the right, to the right. <laughs> and Gable. Oh, Jessica. Uh, yeah, Jessica a little bit wide in the 17 there. Oh, my gosh. Oh, Katie Elizabeth gets pushed wide in the 18. Oh, gosh, oh. still going wide. Berghoff. The 54. Joe Davis, William Duncan. Jesus. Oh, God. Oh, Tom we got Gerard, to Tom Gerard, Floyd. Tom Gerard, the winner. It's a some track. Uh, it was Pigs Creek. Jake Davis, James Shelley, Cassandra Renzi having to get through. Dylan Young with some damage. He's and blown up, Seth. I'm not Seth. Shannon's on pit road. Well, the points there is blown up. The points there is blown up. Well, he's still going to leave. Here's the points there. He had a 206-point lead. Um, still, Bradley that's, Bishop that's, Jr. was the one to lead lap one. No cautions here today because it's a road course. And look oh, at Gabe look Williams. at the move Gabe Williams is going to put. Oh, it's ain't going to work, boys. That's somehow it's oh going to work. Oh, my gosh. He made that's it. not going to work. It He's worked. Looking three wide, and there's still three wide. Charles, I don't know what Charles did, but there's no chicane's working. Oh, oh there goes the 35 and 33 wide. They saved it. Oh, Gabe's got Oh, there goes. Oh, man. Jesus Christ, Kyle Matthews was shitting his pants there. Oh, my God. Well, that was quite an interesting lap right there. And oh, that was... It has allowed Bradley Bishop Jr. to scurry away a little bit. I think Bishop is all... I think everyone's a little scared right now. I think everyone's going to calm down. Uh, maybe, but we got the Williams brothers, PJ and Gabe, fighting it out. <laughs> That 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 part that is that scares the crap out of me. If you hit that, it's gonna hurt like a. It's gonna be bad. All the people on pit road. Wow, you got like three fourths of the field on pit road. Oh, one four. Oh no, okay, never mind. Well, <laughs> look at the list of retirements as they come in right there. Let's see what caused me? Okay, oh god, this is. I think we might not have a good Thanksgiving if this if they wreck each. Oh, Cosmic Nova. He's gonna pull a Nova at Portland. <laughs> uh, it's going to be kind of hard other than on that final corner. Um, but that's because they get off into the grass as well. But it's got Kenny Bale there, and this is a battle for sixth on the racetrack. Yeah, good battle there. I mean, if they don't turn each other, it would be an even better battle. Well, they didn't, and Kenny Bale going to get away with the spot. Let's watch Nobez, and Rage is going to try and get a run on him. Yeah, and now the race is kind of fanned out, but I think we're, we're going to have some wrecks in the back. I can already tell that. Uh, probably, but we'll keep an eye still on battles going up in front of these guys as Enrage makes a peek to the inside, and I see Gabe Williams. 
And oh my gosh, they're they are three wide now coming off this. Oh ball. no, oh no, this is not gonna work. This is not gonna work. This is not good. Amy Shelley's on pit road, the fifty five. Oh, oh, oh so we got the wall. And I, wow, I'm kind of surprised that someone I see at the back of the screen right there. Oh, oh gosh. Oh, oh. And Jessica, I think, wisely did not make it three wide there, but almost thought about it going into turn one. Well, it's Jessica. I I'm expecting her to make some crazy moves. Oh, oh. This is an interesting four-car battle here inside the top ten as Gabe Williams has gone wide. Oh, uh, it's like, oh, no. Oh, Gabe. <laughs> and Gabe a little bit down on momentum here. Nova trying to get to the driver's right. Oh no. Oh Jessica. Oh Jessica. Oh god, this is gonna be bad. Oh, this is gonna be horrible. Oh, this is gonna... I'm more nervous for the trucks on the outside there. And Jessica able to get about what? Two or three spots out of that? <laughs> oh, oh god. Yeah, Gabe <laughs> Williams coming close to that wall is Apparently, um, PJ Williams has been able to get around, uh, well, no, actually, I think that's just how many spots Gabe Williams lost. Man, I was expecting more racks. I wasn't expecting him to get single file. <laughs> well, we still got an interesting battle here for second, at least a little bit, between Chris Washer and Chris Louvier. That is true, though. You got that interesting battle on the track, though. Hell yeah, Louvier, I mean, he hasn't had the best season at, uh, at all, but he's looking now to go where is he in points. Uh... Uh, Louvier comes into this race. Trying to find him. Charles, you're lagging. Second. As, as Charles is lagging on his mic, I don't know if he, I, I can't really hear him anymore. <laughs> I'm not lying on it. I was just lying on the cord for the headphone. Oh, okay. Now Charles is back. Oh, great. <laughs> um, well, Washer runs a little bit wide. Here comes Louvier. Oh, no. Oh, well, well, the 62 goes balls deep in that corner. I don't think he will, as Louvier even pulls him behind. Oh, uh, let's see. At some point here, we'll have to check the back, but let's check the bottom of the results, or the uh, standings right now, see who's out of the race. We have Robin Shannon, Dylan Young, Preston Ford, Paul Swanson, Tom Gerard. William Duncan, Katie Elizabeth, Amy Shelley, and Kyle Matthews. So 33 trucks right now running on the track. And me and Charles are still driving, guys. So we still have a chance. <laughs> uh, might as well take a look at the back of the field here or do a scroll through real quick. Yeah, get, get some of those screenshots from the new website. Uh, there's me. Hey, from the last row. Here we go. Uh, next to last. <laughs> Hey, I got in the JG. I got. A, I'm in a Joe. Get. I'm in a Jeff Joe Cobb sandwich there. So, just looking through here to see where some of the other people are running. There's Sanford. The Davis is running at the tail in the lead lap. As oh, Luvier has actually gotten the move done on uh, Washer now. Now yeah, he, he got him. Oh God. I mean, I'm excited. I mean, we have, uh, I don't know, these guys are running a little low on fuel, so I don't know what to expect. Well, and also Shelton made the move for fifth there on Enrage, so. And actually, Luvier did not get the move done. Interesting. And good run. Chris has got a good truck, but they keep Bradley Bishop's pulling away here. Well, but they're still keeping an eye on him out in front here as, oh, oh. wow. Yeah, this is going to be death. <laughs> Well, oh, neither one of those two are gonna give up. I know that for a fact. Uh, I know. I know. After the race, Hiroshi Kosciuszko's not gonna be happy with the guy who got the guy who turned him. I know that for a fact. Kosciuszko right now runs in 24th. I, I think Kosciuszko is going to be fighting Gabe Williams after this race. Don't you think so, Charles? Uh, who knows? As here comes Luvier once again. <laughs> I think he's got to play that time. I think he's got it done this time, and he might be able to get the draft off of Bradley Bishop Jr. there just in front of him. Yeah, Louvier, I mean, let's see what he can do. I mean, he's driving for BKR. Those squads are pretty good on the straights there. Cosmic Nova has gone past one, the other BKR truck. Yeah, just a little too late. Seven laps to go. Eh, not enough time. Well, looking nah. back here, Gabe Williams making a move as well. And that in-game number 20 truck, he's moving his way to the Kyle Collins, I think it is. Yep, that is Collins in the 20. 
I just guessed that. That was the luckiest Libya's guess ever. Libya's wide. And I, I think he might have got a little help on that one. Well, that's quite interesting. And oh, and range goes wide. Oh. Bad set of corners for the BKR trucks. Yeah, that was not a pleasant corner at all. Let's. I just hope he doesn't come down and take us out. That would be horrible. Well, be careful what you say there. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Oh man, it's Shelly. My pick, last row. Look at Amanda. Right now in 14th, now 13th as they get as she gets moved on on the 19th. Oh god, this is all, oh my god, that wall is scaring the crap out of me. <laughs> Meacham gets past uh, Kenny Bale there, and Gabe looking to driver's right of Collins. Now it's Collins going to driver's right of Louvier. As the lag fest 500 for me is real, as uh, to the inside it. Oh, Gabe Williams, the oh, second Gabe's guy. Oh, making three wide. Oh, shoving Louvier wide. Louvier's is taking like a rag doll here, and somebody's gonna get turned to this corner. I don't know who. Uh, I don't think anyone is. Gabe trying to drive in deep so he can keep out to the outside for the next right hander here. And it's gonna Louis be able Gabe. to work. No, Chris is gonna turn the. Oh, I thought he was gonna turn the 20 there. So, not bad job by Gabe Williams to get into third. And when did PJ grab second? I, 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 Wait, I where's Bradley P Bishop Jr.? Where is oh, the 99? Uh, Charles, the Illuminati has been officially confirmed. Uh, has the, is the 99 done? What the hell? Uh, what the is 99 going is back in 32nd from the race lead to 32nd for Bishop. Uh, Charles, what is going on with your league? This is like the second week in a row we've had like Illuminati confirmed. I don't know, but there was a lag spike right there, definitely. Um,. Washer now into the lead. P.J. Williams second. Jessica Shelton third. Then Cosmic Nova fourth. Gabe Williams in fifth. Louvier sixth. Then Kyle Collins, Kenny Bale, Kyle Thomas, and Seth Cole. The top ten with six laps to go. Oh, man. Look at Amanda Shelley. If Amanda Shelley went through for the last row that road for us, what would you say, Charles? Miracles can happen. <laughs> I think it's a miracle she's contending for a top 10 right now, honestly. But just because of the reputation that road courses have. Yeah, that is true. I mean, this is a, this is like a really tough RC race, too. And Luvia done. I mean, I, I, we will see what happened to Bishop. Oh, oh. Randy McBlayer just got turned by Pollard. Oh, I just killed him. <laughs> well, that's what, you, the 10. That, that's what you get when you cut me off. You know, last week Eric and Rage thought he can push me over last week in the cup race. I showed these boys I ain't playing. I'm here to win. Uh, well, that was a very interesting move for only the 14th position. <laughs> well, you got to do what you got to do, Charles. And speaking of interesting moves, Shelly just literally pushing the back bumper of the 19 right there. Yeah, that Mellow 1 truck got a little shot in the ass. Well, in the 24, not going to be able to make it stick there, I think. Well, it actually was able to. Oh, that was that man is showing his wheel on that car around. I mean, just wheeling and dealing it. Well, Seth's loving that because it's going to let him get away a little bit here. Hmm. Chris Washer's still here. We're coming to four to go. If they're going to pit, if they're going to have uh, to pit. three to go. Yeah, if they got to pit. Oh, Cosby, no, where do you? Okay, that's not the lead. I saw it was the lead. Nope. Chris Washer's still leading. Oh, Jessica. As here comes Cosmic Nova, he's going to get a run on the 17 now. Yep, and then, uh, man, this race, I don't know, Bradley Bishop Jr. with the heartbreak of the race, I'm going to say that. Definitely, we'll have to take a look at some of these wrecks to see what happened, at least the notable ones. Yeah, uh, we saw what happened with Steven. As and, uh, we've added Kyle Sosnowski, Jay Stella, and Randy McBlair to the drivers out of the race. I, I, I'm thinking the Je Jennifer Joe Cobb trucks are going to have a big brawl after the race because they destroyed their only dodge, their only good dodge. <laughs> well, the Zero right now running in ninth. Well, we still got Thorin. I think I might have uh, ended the 10's chance of making it to Thorin. <laughs> <laughs> I might have to donate that RCR truck. I'm not the R I mean, our Roush family truck. Oh, uh, well then. <laughs> Maybe. Uh I'll have to paint up that 10-4. Uh, 
Put up, put, put 3M logos, like make it look like the worst started park car ever. Well, we're going to try and look for a battle on the track. Well, we got some right here. Jeff James trying to get to driver's right of Eric and Rage. Of course you wouldn't show my car. No. Well, we showed it. And it's there, there on camera. Yeah, it's there on camera. <laughs> and Pollard actually does make the move on Amanda Shelley for, four, or for 13th now. That's the only move we'll ever make on a girl. Wait, what? Well, then. At least you're <laughs> saying it, not me. Yeah, that would have been worse. And that, that was the uh, more humor Alex Hawkins requested. Uh, well, that, no, he was requesting more puns. Oh, more puns. Oh, last time we had more puns, it was pretty dirty, and we had to end the broadcast on that. So let's not go there but today. Yeah. <laughs> let's not. So, with three laps to go, now all of a sudden we got a battle for lead. P.J. Williams closing in on the five. And I, I think I think in the near future Charles will be making an announcement about the poll winners and trucks and stage one. But that, like I, I always make that well, right here about the bud shootout. Sure. Okay, we can, uh, Charles can announce it to this is his lead, but I'm doing the idea. Well, so Pollard's gonna paint them, but what's gonna happen is the top poll getters from Reebok Truck and Hooters Nationwide Competition will get a spot in the Budweiser shootout. Which they did back in the '90s. Uh, David Green made it both times. And they gave him a piece of crap, but he still made it. <laughs> well, we got an interesting battle for the lead here, I think, with at least with two to go now, as PJ Williams is on is right at the back bumper of the Chris Washing machine. How about this? Hendrick Motorsports versus RCR in a truck race. Who would the oh if they if he turns them. If he if this is a Chase Elliott and a Ty Dillon finish, I will cry. This would be great. Uh, I don't think the 17 would. <laughs> <laughs> I, I I don't think Jessica's gonna cry at all. No, not at all. Definitely. Oh, this is gonna be good. Oh, this is gonna be good. This is gonna be the hell of a finish. Oh, this is gonna be like the worst. This is gonna be the be terrible. This is gonna be great. Well, we'll have to wait and see as they come to the, what will be the final corner for this lap. They'll see the white flag oh, this time by. Oh, wide. Washer slid wide. And, and by the way, guys, you know this track is pretty old when you see a 1985 Budweiser logo on the track. <laughs> Can Washer hunt him back down now? That's a big question. It's Kyle Collins going for some late race position. Uh, that's the battle for fifth there, but we'll watch the battle for the lead. Oh, uh, Washer, he, he got to get a good run off this corner. I mean, he can do it, but it's just a question. Does he have the guts to do it? Well, Williams looking for his third win of the season. Came into this race 10th in points. Washer going for he his goes. first win of the season. There he goes. Here comes Chris down the inside. Uh, but he's on the outside, actually. You know who's loving this? Jessica's loving this. Jessica's just hoping for some some idiot, somebody to turn somebody. Oh, this. I don't think it's going to happen as Williams gets the run. Oh, it's going to be a photo finish. Something's going to happen off the chicane, I think. Oh, he's either going to throw it in there is he, or he's going to try trying. Oh, he's going to get the run. Let's see what Washer has for him. And the 62 is going to run a wide off this corner here. And the, Yep, there he goes. Yep, this one. Well, we don't have a very good camera angle at the start finish line. But it's not going to be enough. Yeah, maybe, like maybe. Be PJ Williams. Yes, it will. PJ Williams will win the iRacing 300 here at Portland. Good job for PJ. We're dial back there for the, for the zero. Yeah, that is uh, Kyle Thomas and Chris Louvier there. Thomas got him. They're battling for eighth, and Thomas got it. Yeah, Thomas on that. That was a better. That was good. Well, we had some guys uh, last season. We had some pretty interesting guys. Our finishing results come across the line. Hiroshi Kostiosi, a tough break for him. Uh, I can't say. And Billy Bishop Jr., I, I'm not going to say. He's probably hard. And what, happened, and what happened to the number 39? Well, who knows? Brennan Burke going to come across the line in 30th today. <laughs> Burke had a good Pocono week. I don't think he's starting his Portland week off that well. Well, I don't think he started the Pocono week off all that good either. He got a top. If I remember correctly. He got a top 15. Well, he's going through the grass, but still got a top 15. Well, the interesting thing about this, 10th and 15th in the points were our top two finishers. So, uh, Amy Shelley ran into troubles in 9th. That might be the spot to watch, as watch this moment, folks. Oh, my God, he's dead. Oh, God, Jessica. Jesus. <laughs> Jessica makes it unstable. Yeah, that's why... 
Just for the record, that's why Pollard was worried about green flag pit stops. See, this is why. See, of course, the girl doesn't plow the wall hard. Uh, they're still plowing it. Meacham got it. Kazuyoshi got it. Bassinger got it. And if, I like to hear Jessica's reaction with that comment. Uh, well, we'll have to. I oh, oh, oh. I won't be able to tell you that one. I don't know. Um. Or should we have to tell me that one? Top ten rundown here today: P.J. Williams, Chris Washer, Jessica Shelton, Gabe Williams, Kyle Collins, Cosmic Nova, Kenny Bale, Kyle Thomas, Chris Louvier, and Seth Cole. Uh, take a look at the bottom of the results. Top As I'm not even going to try and figure out who's going to be in the top ten leaving here or not. Sure. Um. Sure. Obviously, driver to watch. We want to see if we would want to see if Duncan can make it in, but 37th not going to happen. No, not at all. Um, some drivers that were in need a good run, the 13 and the four, as they went came into this race towards the bomb half of the top 30. Uh, Renzi 21st, McCain 15th, so not too bad. Not at all. So now, uh, well, I got 13th. That's very good. Yeah, uh, time for your final thoughts. Uh, my final thoughts. Uh, that was a little less. Uh, it was It was an exciting finish. I thought Chris had him at the end there. Uh, sorry to the Ted truck, I guess. And uh, we will see you with some of oh, the mystery co-commentator tomorrow and at Portland. What's funny is only me and the other person and the person know who it is because Paula doesn't even know. And before it's Gabe Williams. <laughs> well, we still have some rec. We still have some action to show because we have the wrecks from, or some of the wrecks from today's race to show you, and we'll get onto that right now. Oh God. Okay, uh, so here's the first wreck of the day on lap one. We'll start with Robin Shannon. How to turn one by Robin Shannon. Well, watch what happens in front of him. This not entirely his fault, but they just stacked well, up. Yeah, it is a huge stack up. The ninety eight gets in the. Floored and then so whoever is, I think it's me behind him. I don't even know. Uh, well, I... start... Renzi's the one that gets into the 98 to just pretty much push him off. But there's oh, that look, mess. Look, look at everybody! Oh my god! Look at everybody! <laughs> look at everybody! Everyone's spinning. Everyone's either in the grass or wrecking in the back. That is so hilarious. Well, and then you have the two guys who are on the final towards the final row, just like getting through it. <laughs> Yeah, me and Paul, me, Amanda, and uh, Charles all just driving grass off into this giant pile. That's where Dylan Young gets turned. He gets turned by Renzi and just ran. Well, there's Sanford, there's Shelly, and there's Pollard, so yeah. Yeah, and then, uh, well, Renzi's got the hood off. That was a hell of a lick. Well, and then still up here, let's see if there's anything real quick. Oh, well, there's Mojo off. Oh, yeah, this, they, they, they still, this is what Paul, Paul Swanson, he hit the wall. And he's going to hit it right about here, because I know Brad Mojo continue. I don't, did not see Paul Swanson. Paul Swanson is going to drive out of the track, I think. Nope. He gets turned, yep. Oh, oh, we saved it. Maybe it wasn't lap one. Oh, wait, remember, we had the wreck over here. Yeah, uh, yeah I remember that. And then we had uh, my infamous. There it is. Oh, 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 my God. Well, that was a oh, hard. Oh, and Seth Cole over here. That was our tenth place finisher today. And he almost got caught up in this. Oh my god. Oh my god, what a hit! How hard was that? Oh, still 80 miles. Oh my god, no safer barriers. Uh, I'm thinking those two were transported to the local. Uh, Port. I don't even know where this is located. Portland, Oregon. Oh, I think they were taken to the local Portland, Oregon hospital. Oh, well, Swanson's still not involved in that, so we'll have to figure out what Swanson actually was involved in. There's Duncan, there's the 94 of Joe Davis in the back. Yeah. Well, uh, Swanson only made it to the next corner. Well, I, I was saying these, I just, I was saying they, those guys should be local EMT. Look at this hit. Oh, oh God. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, Gaining God. Gaining speed, 95 oh. into that. Oh, we got stuck in that wall. I think we're going to have another injury report from Paul Swanson. <laughs> well, that's not up to me, really. I don't choose those. <laughs> and uh, then... So, well, that was the first lap chaos. And then we'll check out anything else that we find notable. 
And on lap two, we had Zeke Marley, Charles Sanford making contact, and Nathan McCain getting collected. Well, I, I think my, uh, me and Charles might have worked out a little deal to take out that old two. Well, that's not mentioned in the broadcast. I don't know what you're talking about. I would not wreck someone intentionally. <laughs> I just we, we don't want that old two beating me in points. You realize it's all on owner's points now, and you have them by like eight spots. Oh, okay. I think we are probably because of that wreck. So, <laughs> now what we'll do is we'll try and find the next wreck, and we really have no clue what they are. <laughs> Amanda Shelley. And we're back as well. This was on lap three, and when you're last in points, things usually go wrong. And when you get a new driver in the series who doesn't know how to drive right, I think that happens also. Who was in that 59 again? That is Jake Bassinger. Yeah, I, I think Jake uh, ran over his head just a little bit. I think that flip from Pigs Creek is still in his head. That was uh well, maybe, yeah. <laughs> Who knows? Sure. Let's see what happens to Amanda Shelley. Oh, that's what happens to Amanda Shelley. Uh, it's Amy Shelley. A Amy, Amy, Mary, whatever. They're, same, they're still girls. Yeah, but they're all different siblings as well. And Mojo turns to 55. Ooh, ooh, ooh hard hit. And then the seven saves it. I, I don't know how the hell he does that. Well, so Mojo saves it driving as well. Mojo saves it for the second straight rack in a row. Jesus Christ, Mojo. <laughs> well, time to figure out the next one as well. We move ahead to lap eight and we figure out why Bradley Bishop Jr. just like disappeared and went right in front of Jake Davis. And why well, Lydia was had run wide. <coughs> well, this was kind of a, I hate to put it, so it was a little dick move. That's what I got to put that. He just shoved them wide and didn't even get the lead. And thanks to the fact that there's no invisible wall here, watch Bradley Bishop Jr. Oh, man. Oh, I was hoping he was going to hit the end of that wall right there. Well, he just turns it right around and gets it back going, but has to go through the turn one complex again. Saw this in practice with Seth Cole as well, and Bradley Bishop Jr. Unfortunately, falls victim to it. Yep. Of course, Luvier didn't get off scotch free on that either, as he ended up losing a couple spots out of that. And the next person to see is now Mr. Joe Day, the 42 is Stella. Right. And we are back as in turn one here on lap number nine. Jay Stella gets into the left rear of Kyle Sosnowski, turns him, and unfortunately can't steer it once he got onto the grass, and he's going to stuff in the tire wall just like Sosnowski did. Oh, a hard hit for the 42 there, too. And I think there was a few more wrecks out of this one, too, so we're not done yet here. I'm not quite sure, but yeah, we'll take a look definitely and see if there was anything. Yeah, we did have one more incident, and it was this one on lap 10. Well, you know, I, I, I uh, have uh, no farther, further comment on that. Well, at least you made the corner still. Well, at least I did that too. That was only for third, uh, for 14th though, come on. <laughs> well, I think it was one more with Brendan Berg. I think that was one more incident that they were done I for I don't the... think so, because Berg's already at the back. Oh, but he finished behind Bishop Jr. Uh, Bradley Bishop Jr. Let's put it that well, way. Well, we'll watch, but I don't think there was anything left after that. As apparently McBlair had hit the pit wall. 